Hello everyone, here is a new video of Magento Marketplace PayPal Adaptive Payment. In this video, I am going to show you how you can easily create a PayPal app for your Magento Marketplace so that customer can easily pay by their PayPal account for their purchases. So at first, you have to go to the developer.paypal.com you have to go to uh, this website developer.paypal.com and uh, this home screen will be uh, displayed in front of you then you have to click on dashboard under dashboard you can see uh, various menus so uh, you have to click on create and manage classic API apps after clicking on that link you will be redirected to the paypalapps.com so here you have to log in with PayPal account you have to log in with your PayPal business account so here is our demo business account so I will log in to this account So you will be logged in to the PayPal account within 5 seconds. So here is uh, my application window. Uh, so here uh, in this page you can uh, create a new app by clicking on the new app now you uh, you can uh, see your sandbox ID is here and if you have any uh, live app ID then uh, it will be uh, displayed here because this is our sandbox account so our sandbox ID is displayed here so uh, I will create a new app so here you have to fill uh, all the app information so the first field is title uh, you have to give the app title I will give MP adaptive app so on what platform does your app run you can choose in which platform you want to run your app you can choose web you can choose Android you can choose Blackberry you can choose iOS Windows mobile other mobile so that's how you can use the app in your different platforms so now uh, the next field is please describe what your application does in detail and how each of the API feature will be used by your application so in this field you have to write what will your application do and how does API will work in your app so after filling all the information in this field So uh, the next field is industry and use case. So you have to define your uh, industry. So here is the uh, industry list, uh, alcohol, beverage related, insurance, medical practice provider, official charities or none of the below. So you can select any of uh, these businesses or industry uh, if you have any uh, use case then you can upload files here you can select uh, the f select uh, use case list below so here you can uh, select the use case so that's all for this 
field now we will uh, move to the services used by the app so you have to click on adaptive payment you can select basic payment chain payment and pre approvals so you can uh, select any one of the among so i will uh, select basic payments so under basic payments uh, you have to uh, select check out send money or parallel payments get payment details refunds or uh, so here you can uh, check the boxes like check out send money or parallel payments and if you want to uh, also refund the money uh, through paypal you can uh, check this box refund or money charge uh, then you can uh, get details also of the payment currency conversion implicit send money personal payment so uh, these are all the fields if you have any requirement of these fields you can select as per your need now uh, you have to select the chain payments so uh, you have to select instant or delayed chain payment uh, whichever uh, you want to uh, use in your marketplace so the next field is uh, who pays the fee the paypal fee who will pay the paypal fee uh, each receiver each receiver uh, can be stated as uh, the sellers in, uh, in the transaction and the admin uh, now the primary receiver only admin will pay the fee secondary receiver only sellers will pay the fee so you can select according to your requirement that who uh, whom you want to pay the fee of PayPal So now you can easily uh, set who is the primary receiver, uh, who are the secondary receivers, you can uh, define them uh, here. Now uh, the next field is pre-approvals. So in pre-approvals, there is a field how will you use pre-approvals, subscription payments, you can use it for subscription payments, one-time payments, you can use it for one-time payments on demand payments you can uh, use it for on demand payments uh, here you have to describe the pre approval terms and policies uh, so you have to define the terms and policies uh, now uh, we will move to the next fields confirm funding source you support which sources you uh, support for uh, funding so here is credit card payments if you are supporting uh, the funding from credit card payments then you can check it or else you can uncheck it uh, now e-checks and paypal balance so you can uh, set it according to your needs uh, now expected monthly payment volume and average transaction amount in us dollars so you can set monthly payment volume uh, in us dollars and average transaction amount in us dollars uh, now uh, so the next field is uh, do you have any acceptable use policy if uh, yes then you can click on yes if no then you can uh, select the no or uh, then you have to uh, define who is responsible for charge packs or refunds so here you can define uh, who will be responsible for the charge backs or refunds now in acceptable uh, use policy you can uh, give uh, the acceptable use policies url where it was uh, written so you can uh, set the url here so that uh, any client can easily check it from this URL uh, now the adaptive account that's all for the adaptive payments I will close this menu and now the adaptive account information what adaptive account feature will the app use 
the first wheel is uh, what adaptive account features will the app use so what are the all features uh, which your adaptive account uh, will use so create personal and premier account only create business accounts add bank account add credit card get verified status so you can uh, select any option according to your app's need so you can uh, deselect if you don't want any uh, particular feature for uh, the app but you have to select a basic feature like create personal and premium account only create business account you can select the create business account or add bank account and create debit card according to your needs so uh, that's all for the pay adaptive account now uh, we will move to the third party permission the third party permission is uh, very much beneficial and uh, required uh, if you are returning the amount to your customers uh, and if you uh, allow returns for your customers so you have to uh, select some of the third party permissions so uh, the topic is which api will your end users need to grant permission for accept or deny a pending transaction authorize and capture your paypal transactions so the major points are issue a credit to a debit or credit card then Uh, refund a transaction on your behalf you can select this use express checkout to process mobile payments use express checkout to process payments you can select the features for third party permission according to your need of uh, your marketplace so that's all for the th third party permission uh, now we will move to invoicing uh, this is the feature uh, to create an online invoice uh, or provide online in invoice to your customers so create deliver and manage online invoice electronically track voice payment and get payment paid instantly so you can select this for invoicing now you have to uh, write the step by step payment flows instruction so here you have to write the payment instructions so you can write the steps for payments like a checkout billing address shipping address shipping method then the payment method if select in the paypal then redirect to paypal account
uh, you can uh, set the text URL uh, if you want to write this is not the mandatory field supply test account name and password you can uh, write the test account name and password like our test account name is demo at webcool.com then we have to write the password of uh, uh, this ID so you can uh, write the account name uh, test account name and password in uh, this field and uh, after uh, these fields uh, now additional testing files ad hoc files required for mobile app submission so here you can upload an uh, ad hoc file of for mobile app submission so now the business information to speed up the review process please upload any relevant business document business registration proof of address id card you have to upload your business registration or proof of address or id card so that uh, they can authenticate and uh, start your uh, paypal app and authenticate your paypal app would you like your app considered for listing in our app gallery if you uh, want to show or display your app in uh, their app gallery you can uh, select it yes or if you don't want to uh, display your app or consider your app in their app gallery then you can set a no so now the you have to provide the live URL where uh, it will be used so after uh, entering the URL you have to uh, submit the app from this button so by submitting the app you will be redirected to a page and uh, after that your app will be authenticated and uh, approved by the PayPal so that's all for this video I hope you have understood how to fill or create an app for your Magento marketplace and how you can uh, select features for your app So thank you for this video, I hope it will be beneficial for creating uh, your app, stay connected.